What's up guys, this is Bliss from Compute Hustle. Today we'll be going over how to use Kafka's Java client libraries, in particular with IntelliJ and Maven. Uh, without much more being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing we wanna do is open up our favorite browser and head over to the quick start page for Kafka. And we're just gonna do this to look back, uh, have a reference basically at the old commands that we were using. So we're just going to run um, our Zookeeper server and our Kafka broker, um, just so we have a topic to write to. So I'm going to open up iTerm, and I'm going to head over to my Kafka directory, and we're going to be using uh, Kafka's version of Zookeeper today. So go ahead and run the command as you see here. Um, sudo bin slash zookeeper server dash start sh and add the daemon flag so it's in the background config slash zookeeper properties and then we can check if it's open if it's working and then let's do the same uh, basically doing sudo bin slash kafka dash server dash start to sh dash daemon config slash server dot properties and then we could check that if it's open to using PS aux grep Kafka. And as you can see, it seems like we have both open. So now let's go ahead and create a topic that we can write to from our Java client library. Um, go ahead and run the command below. Um, bin slash Kafka topics dot sh create bootstrap server localhost 9092 replication factor set it to one and set it to only one partition and make the topic name uh, Java client library. And just wait. And now let's just go ahead and list to see if we actually have the topic created. So do bin slash Kafka topics, sage list, bootstrap server, localhost 9092. And I was messing around earlier, so mess. Uh, just ignore the other topic names. Uh, as you can see, we have our Java client library topic created. Let's go ahead and open up IntelliJ and figure out what we need to do from there. So I've got IntelliJ open here, and the version doesn't really matter too much. I have version 2019. Go ahead and use whatever version of IntelliJ you want. Uh, I'm going to link it in the description below. But uh, let's go ahead and just create a new project. Um, as you can see here, um, there's a couple things going on. First, you have your project SDK. You're going to want to make sure that it's 1.8 or Java 8 in particular, just because it's a little more stable and Kafka is constantly being updated as well as Java. Um, and you're going to have stable features if you're on 1.8. And if you want to know how to exactly choose 1.8, um, as you can see, like by default, it's Java 11. You need to basically press new here and it'll bring you to the directory where your Java is located. And if you download multiple JDKs and install them on your laptop, um, you should be able to import them uh, or you should be able to see the different versions you have and import the proper one you need. So as you can see, I have Java 1.8 here and I could import it again. And now I have like four different versions of Java 1.8. Um, secondly, you're going to need um, the Maven project selected. So we're going to be having a pom.xml to have our dependencies inside. So go ahead and make sure you have Maven selected and you have 1.8 for your Java version. Any update is fine. It's 221 for me, but uh, it's whatever for, for you. Um, go ahead and click Next from here. And we're just going to name our project uh, Kafka Client Example and make sure it's in a place where you know where the files are. <clears throat> and go ahead and click Finish from there. And as you can see, we have our pom.xml open and we can basically put our dependencies in here. So go ahead and create um, a dependencies tag like this. And we're gonna go ahead and open up our browser and search for um, the Kafka client uh, dependency. Uh, as you can see, it's on Maven repository. And if you recall, we're using 2.3.1 uh, as of last tutorial. And 
once you click on the proper version you want, it gives you a little uh, code excerpt that you can copy and paste. And we're just hope so happening to use Maven, but they have also got like Gradle here and other um, Java dependency uh, kind of frameworks. Um, so go ahead and copy and paste this little uh, code snippet for Maven. And we're just going to put it inside our dependencies tag. And once that's done, go ahead and import changes, as you can see down here. And once that's done, you're basically ready to start using the, the Java client library in your code. So go and um, navigate to the Java directory inside um, your project folder uh, on this left-hand UI. And let's create a new class called um, Kafka Produce producer example since Kafka producer is already a class that's part of the library and public static void main string args pretty typical sorry um, but let's go ahead and start writing code so you're going to need properties and can, it's on MacBook it's options enter to basically automatically import not sure what it is on Windows. Maybe I'll leave a description. But go ahead and create this and name it props equals new properties. Basically, we're going to give all our configuration for our Kafka producer here. So put props dot put um, bootstrap dot servers. As you can see earlier when we were creating our topic, we specified the bootstrap server and whatnot. So it's basically kind of a cross reference for where we're going to actually read our topic from. And props dot put axe all. Um, if you're not familiar with acknowledgments, don't worry about it. And we're basically gonna choose our serializer here as well. So key dot serializer. Um, and we're gonna be importing a class string serializer dot class dot get name. Since it needs to have a name here, we're gonna import that too. And then props dot put uh, value dot serializer uh, string serial serializer dot class dot get name. And now we're ready to create our producer. So create a producer. Um, it's going to be both key value string and a new Kafka. I'm oh, sorry. Call it producer. Was new Kafka producer. Uh, string string and then pass in the properties that we have and then just uh, go ahead and import what you need to import They're both part of the Kafka client library and now we're just gonna start um, for the sake of this example we're gonna keep it simple and just write a very uh, we're just gonna write messages from 1 to 100 basically so let's do a for loop I equals 0 it's an 100, I plus plus. Let's make it equal to 100, start from 1. And let's write our key to be integer dot to string i. And let's uh, write our val to be um, message plus um, integer dot to string i. So we have our key values here, and we're just going to send this. We're going to have the producer send this as a record. So create new producer record. As you can see, just auto complete it here. And we're going to send it to, sorry, I have to remember what the topic name is Java Client Library. So send it to Java Client Library. So that's how, yeah. Java client library, and then pass in its key and then its val. And then we're just, this is an important step, make sure you close your producer. So this is about, um, this is about all our producer code. Let's go ahead and run the consumer uh, in order to see how this works. So let's go ahead and open our consumer. Go to your terminal and navigate back to the quick start page. Um, as you can see, here's the code to start your consumer. 
and we're still inside a uh, Kafka directory. Do bin slash Kafka console consumer sh bootstrap server localhost 9092 topic um, Java client library from beginning. And uh, I'm not sure if it started or not. Let's go ahead. It seems like it started. Let's go ahead and run our code. So it should be sending to this uh, exact topic. Let's go ahead and click this uh, the arrow from your public static void main and just click run. And if this works properly, uh, we should see um, the messages being printed out in our terminal. And let's just wait for the program to finish. Okay, here we see all our messages being sent from one to 100, just like we program. And now that we have that, uh, let me now show you how to write the, um, the consumer code. So the consumer is very similar. Let's go ahead and create a new file called um, a Java class, Kafka consumer example. And we're going to need a public static void main. I mean, this must be an easier way to do this. Um, and let's go ahead. We're going to be doing basically the same process. We're going to be creating a bunch of properties in order to feed into a Kafka consumer. So let's go ahead and do that. First, create a properties again. Um, go ahead and import that. Props equals new properties. And we have a few more than usual. So let's go ahead and put uh, bootstrap dot servers um, localhost 9092 props dot put group ID and basically group ID is what group your consumer is currently in and the way that consumers do subscribe to topics is in groups in order to conserve resources so just set it to group one and let's call enable dot auto dot commit set it to true props dot put auto dot commit dot interval dot ms 1000 and if you're not sure what these are um, go ahead and look at the documentation but it's not entirely too important for you to know just for the sake of practicality but it would be good to read and we're just going to do the same series um, as you know, we had serializers in our producer. We're going to have to have deserializers for our, our consumer. And we're going to do the same thing. It's going to be string serializer dot uh, class dot get name. And it'll be the same for our values. String serializer dot class dot get name. Um, and from here, just do um, create a Kafka consumer, string, string, consumer, so new Kafka consumer, string, string, and pass in properties. And once you've done that, uh, we're basically going to do consumer.subscribe um, arrays.asList. So basically, you have to pass in a number of topics you want to basically subscribe your consumer to. Uh, for the sake of this example, we only have one topic we want to subscribe to, so we're just going to do arrays.asList. Um, and let me just import that. And, um, sorry, what was it called? My uh, Java client library, yeah. And then from here, uh, we're just going to have a, a forever while loop. And we're going to get consumer records, string, string, records equals support it, consumer.poll. OK. And we're going to try just 100. And I know it's deprecated here, but I'm running into a little issue where if I do the proper syntax, I need like Java 8 or syntax or something like that. And for now, since this code works, uh, let's just go ahead and use it. 
um, you know, deprecated isn't too big of a deal. It still works, but I don't know. That's just me. Um, so create string string record. Um, get all the records, and um, we're gonna do system dot out dot printf. And this is almost exactly word for word from the documentation. So I'll link that as well um, in the description. Uh, percent a key equals percent s and value equals percent s percent n. The percent n is creating a new uh, is creating a new line, basically. But um, the percent d percent s those are just like decimal string, and it's going to print out what we put in the after. Uh, basically in all the parameters afterwards. So we get the offset, record.key, and then record.value. Um, and yeah, now we should be ready to go. Um, let's check this out by using um, both the producer that we've made as well as the producer um, that's given to us by Kafka over the command prompt. Okay, a small error was made here. Um, instead of string serializer, uh, use string deserializer, and use tab to overwrite without, um, you know, basically having to uh, backspace everything. So now we have string deserializer. Let's go ahead and open iTerm or whatever terminal you're using. And as you can see, we're still in our Kafka directory. Let's go look at the code for um, creating a producer. So we already exited out of the consumer. Sorry, I, I did that while you guys weren't looking. Um, but just do bin slash Kafka console producer dot sh broker list localhost 9092 topic uh, Java client library. And we have a little greater than sign and we should be ready to go. Let's run this. So click this little arrow here on the public side void main, and we're going to run our consumer. So this should work. And it seems like everything's fine. It should be in the infinite while loop. So let's write some messages. Hi, this is Bliss from Preview Hustle. And as you can see, it's coming in there. This is another message. And as you can see, we basically have like a live feed coming from the producer. Now let's see something interesting as well. Let's go ahead and run our producer that we wrote code for. And let's change up the code a little. Let's say um, message to consumer. And let's go ahead and run that. And let's go ahead. Uh, our producers should be done. Oh, and as you see, we have all our messages here. Isn't that convenient? And basically, that's pretty much all there is to it in terms of a getting started uh, video. Um, you have your producer, you have your consumer, and given that you can program it in Java, you can have access to a lot of APIs and whatnot and you can do a lot with uh, data pipelines in Kafka. So in summary, today we learned about um, how to use the Java client library, specifically with Kafka producers and consumers. And now you know how to write to certain topics and read from them and whatnot. Um, this video overall went a little longer than I would have liked for such little code, but um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you found some value out of it. Um, and if you have any feedback or negative comments, feel free to write them below. I'm open to criticism and I'm trying to get better at this. Um, I'm up at like 5 a.m. doing this right now. So just know that I'm right here for you all. Uh, well, that's it for this one. Uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video.